Okay, so we're back from the walk. I have this black forest ham, some a cheese packet, an egg, have these pretzel bagels, and then I'm gonna top it with mayo, and that's Cholula. So let's get started. I guess I'll start with the ham. Put it on like medium heat. So I'm gonna go ahead and Cut, I'm just gonna cut the bagel in half and then put it in the air fryer. So once I get the bagel in the air fryer, I'm just gonna saute up the ham a little bit just to get it warm and slightly crispy. Then I'm not sure what happened with this camera angle, but we're just gonna fry up an egg here. Just add some salt and pepper to both sides as you're frying it up. This was not my best flipping performance ever, so I'll spare you the details. But anyway, once you're done cooking up the egg, then you're gonna add your ham and a piece of cheese. And then I just cover this with a top just to melt that cheese really quick. All right. So I've got some mayo laid down there on the pretzel. Look at that perfect fit. Then I'm going to add a little bit more pepper. Cheesy top. And then I'm going to add the Cholula just a little bit. Sprinkle it up. Oop, that's more than I wanted, but that's okay. Oops, spread it out a little bit better. And then I put a, also a little bit of mayo on top. And bam, there she is. Alrighty. My thing said focusing failed. I don't know why, but let's try it. Yum. That's a nice little sandwich there. I don't know about you, but ham and cheese and pretzel, to me, just tastes really, really good together. Definitely hitting the spot. You could do mustard on this. The reason I didn't do mustard is because I added the egg. Um, and I like Cholula on my eggs. There's another idea for you for breakfast. Or you can omit the egg and have it for lunch. Or you can keep the egg and have it for lunch. It's your business. Do whatever you want. And honestly, that was super quick. The, the bagel toasted in like a minute or two. And I use this freaking air fryer, y'all, for like so much. Like if it's big enough to fit something that I can toast, cause it has a bake option on it. It has an air fry. One that I got is like an instant pot one. And it has all kinds of options. So I use it for everything. I use it for toasting stuff. Um, I really like those mini wontons in the air fryer because if you cook them right you have to make sure you cook them a little less than like where they're like brown on all sides then they're crunchy but also like you have that little bit like chewy softness to them it's so good anyway i'm gonna finish this because i'm starving because it's one o'clock and then i need to get some work done around the house 
Um, and then I'll check back in with you when I eat something else. So I have all these apples and I love apple cake. <laughs> so I'm gonna attempt to make it. I found this recipe from Honey Tree Buzz and I'm gonna modify it a little bit because this recipe makes two nine inch rounds and I simply as one person do not need that much apple cake in one sitting. So I am just gonna have the recipe. I also, it calls for a half a cup of oil, but I'm thinking... What about melted butter? And it calls for two cups of flour, which I'm not gonna half it, obviously, but and baking soda. I might just skip that whole doing both of those because I have self-rising flour. I don't know. I don't know if it'll be less dense if I do it that way, but it might be okay. Just because, I don't know, I probably have baking soda and flour but it's just easier to do one as opposed to like two, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna get to cutting these apples and making some cake. This should be fun. I don't think we've done this before. So I'm not much of a baker um, cause I'm more of a little bit of this and a little bit of that. As you can see, I'm trying to modify this recipe, but I think I'm cool with, you can switch out your fats. So I think I'm okay with that and the cake might be less dense and more fluffy if I use um, self-rising, because I believe it has. You know what, it might be okay, because that might just be what's in self-rising flour. Anyway, we're just gonna go with it, and hopefully it tastes good. Okay, y'all, so the first thing you wanna do is peel all of your apples. This is in super speed mode. Of course, I can't peel that fast. Then you chop them all up into little, I would say like one by one squares. Then to a medium sized mixing bowl, you wanna add one egg. Then your melted butter or your fat of choice or oil of choice. Then you're gonna stir those together. Then you're gonna add your cinnamon. And then I'm just using this vanilla powder, but you can just use regular vanilla if you have it. Again, I'll leave the actual recipe down below for you. And then this is a quarter cup and I'm adding one, two, and half of the quarter cup essentially. Once I have all of that combined, I'm just gonna add the diced apples and give it another good stir. This is me showing you, yum, looks good. And then that's just a cup of flour. Give it a stir again. Okay, people. <laughs> this batter, I think I used too many apples, but I'm still gonna make it. And then I'm just gonna put it in this. I'm just gonna grease this up really quick. This might be a fail, but you miss 100% of the chances you don't take, am I right? I don't know how this is going to make cake, but oh boy. <laughs> I feel like I need more batter. So this is me trying to get every last drop of batter out with just a little bit more water. <laughs> okay, wish me luck. This batter looks really thick, but I'm hoping that maybe some of the moisture from the apples loosens it up and then it becomes really good. We're gonna find out. All right, and while my cake cooks, I'm gonna have this kind of like a Mexican style, like rice soup. I just mixed um, peppers, onions, black beans, corn, and this rice blend from Trader Joe's in a pot with some um, some of this tomato bouillon, spices, onion powder, garlic powder, the huge, and then some um, stock. And then I just made like a, I guess you could call it like a tortilla soup. So I'm gonna eat that with some of these 
tequila lime chips from Whole Foods. Oh, and this soup has some cheese, as you can see, and some Taco Bell hot sauce. It's really good. It's really simple. Um, I didn't record myself making this or even the measurements, but maybe I'll come up with it soon and make it like a recipe. Oh, and I put green chilies in it, like canned green chilies. My philosophy on soup is the same as my philosophy on like just food in general. I just put what feels right in it. So <laughs> sometimes it's hard for me to come up with recipes because I'm just like adding as I go um, until it tastes good to me. So I know that can be frustrating for people that don't really know how to cook, but once you get this, the hang of flavors and things like that, it's pretty easy to just put a little bit of this and a little bit of that until it tastes good to you. So, oh, I did use chili onion crunch too from Trader Joe's. I love this stuff so much. And then, you know, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. And then I love that tomato bouillon. So I found that you have to be careful with this because it is very salty, but it has, it's tomato bouillon but it has still like a chickeny type, like a chicken bouillon type flavor. So you really don't need um, chicken bouillon as well as this. You could just use this in my opinion. So, but I love this stuff. I started to add it to pretty much all of the Mexican inspired dishes that I use. It gives a very stewed all day umami type of flavor. Oh, and I added tomato paste to this and I think it made it a little too thick, but adding tomato paste really deepens the flavor of any sort of um, sauce or um, soup that you're making. So I highly recommend it. All right, I'm gonna go eat this and I'll check back in with you. I'll probably eat something else today, especially probably that cake. Hopefully it turns out. Anyway, I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so this is it out of the oven. I have to say it looks like apple cake that I've had before. So this is promising. I'm gonna let it cool and then we'll have some later. So I tried this and it worked out really well. So highly recommend. I will put the link to the recipe in the description if I remember. And yeah, definitely try it. It worked out really well with the butter too. I mean, it tastes really, really good. It's a little folly a party, but it could be also because I didn't let it cool before I ate it. So, yay, now I have breakfast and desserts and snacks for the week. And I actually didn't eat anything else today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, bye.